Hi guys, hope everybody is doing well. Um, I just been to the cinema, and my when I was in the cinema, I took my boy to watch a film. He's bless him. He's missed the cinema, um, some awful what. Um, obviously they just reopened the one local to us, so I took him down there. My phone was ringing, and I looked and I got a message, and it said, uh, "Ben, I've just done um, a garage clearance, um, and it's got some old rusty tools. If you want to come and have a look." So I couldn't wait for the film to end, honestly. It was like pulling teeth watching these little snow queen. But anyway, I went round there um, and this is what awaited me. So I went, I rooted through his boxes and this is what I pulled out. Uh, but before we get into that, I forgot to mention on my last video, I bought three snap-on spanners. Um, the, the, the chap who um, had them, I said, how much are you spanners? He went five pound each. I said, you'd be lucky to get five pound for the three. I said, somebody's written their name in it. I said, and they're not metric. Nobody uses them anymore. He said, okay. Um, he said, um, I said, he said, is that your offer? Five quid. I went, it can be. He went, okay, you can have them. So five pound for the three. We had one winner, Steve Woodall, of course. He, he's pretty much spot on with everything. So well done, Steve. Um, you're already on the book. Three, three, uh, three, three ticks you've got now. Well done. Um, somebody was asking what was on the back of them. Um, so that's on the back of them. I don't know if you can read them, read them, because obviously some people like. So I don't know if. I think that one might be a newer one. These two are older ones. So yeah. So I just thought I'd get into that. So well done, Steve. You really are good at guessing, mate. Two more and you win a prize. So, so without further ado, this is what I got. The first thing I pulled out was these files. Um, and they are heavily rusted. Um, and I'm going to stick them in the evaporust. It says genuine something stubs England. So, at least it doesn't say India like it normally says when I buy files. Most of them seem to be unmarked. But I, and I've got these here. Mm, probably shouldn't have done that. Oh, someone was a bit of a hoarder of files, I think. Wow, rat's tail files. So they need it. They they've got a date with the um, evaporust, I think, and then a wire wheel. That's going to be fun. Um, but they they look to be possibly quite good ones. They've got some markings on them and some serial numbers. Um, C stubs. So it might they might all be C stubs. But anyway. A heap of files. I probably shouldn't have, but I did anyway. And they're all made in the UK. I doubt they've seen the light of day for 30 or 40 years at least. Anyway, that was the first thing I pulled out. The next thing I pulled out was this leather hammer. Um, I thought it was quite cool. It hasn't had a heavy, hard life, but it's like bound leather with rivets going through it. Um, with a, looks like to be like a brass like wedge in there so i quite like that i thought that would be quite good for hitting the wife with so i picked that up i got this beautiful beautiful exquisite perfect handle screwdriver might have a slight issue with the handle it might not be quite as perfect as i first thought but i still pulled it out i thought maybe i can give it a life at some point we've got a stanley 199 challenge coming up i'm sure john's gonna do so oh, that's got a massive dent in it there um made in england blade inside so hopefully there'll be some sort of challenge coming up john hint hint uh, the next thing is this little scraper um i chucked that in because it's wood and it's and it's metal so it, it passes the test we've got this little uh, level um is that the right way around a Matheson and Sons Glasgow and what does it say there warranted um, something something Turner provided tubes warranted provided tubes I don't think you get a warranty on that anymore somehow but it's it's brass and it's probably hardwood of some sort with brass now that will clean up absolutely beautiful it doesn't look much but I'm sure that will be a, a nice looking thing uh, with a bit of brasso so i took that that was probably one of the best things in there i got this little uh made in england four inch vice it's got the uh tap it's a very rusty but it's a project now he's had these this is the only thing which didn't come today and he's at he's got three of these in his shop 
And I've, I've always looked at them and I've no idea what they're for. And if anybody knows, it's obviously some sort of press and it's got three points on there. And I don't know if there's something missing out of there, but if anybody knows what that's for, let me know. Because it's interesting, but I've no idea what it's for the Pacific use but I chucked that in because I've been looking at it for three or four times now I've been in this junk shop and, I'm, and I just chucked it in Um this little um 150 millimeter modern backhoe spanner Um only a little one six inch very very cute set of Bernard pliers I mean those are tiny but it's missing the rivet so it needs the uh, I think it just needs a rivet going through and a de-rust but it's got chromed finish so that's going to be a bit of a someone swapped the bolt on it as well so this has been falling apart for a long time so that needs a bit of a restoration but it was quite small cute because it was small we've got this the plumbers forming lead forming tool um i threw that in we got this now this is called a rake you put a nail in there and then you tighten it down and then the rate the, the nail sticks out and you can run it down the wall and rake out the mortar to a certain depth before you point up to rake the rough mortar out and um, but it looks to be an old one so I, I just grabbed that I couldn't help myself and um, we've got this little ruler brass brass and steel it, it looks worse for wear to be honest um, and I think it, it just says boxwood warranted. I can't really see if there's any maker. Is there a maker on that side? It might clean up. It might not. I'm not sure on that one. Fingers crossed. Um, I got this this little, um, I can't see the maker's name, but it says Sheffield. And anything made in Sheffield is worth it. Bit A little bit chipped up in it. Um, but yeah, I'll give that a whirl. A hammer. Um, ball peen hammer. Um, it's got a screw in there, but it feels reasonably tight, so I, I chucked that in. I don't know why I did. This, just because it was interesting, no other reason. Don't know what it is, um, but it might be for something. Maybe it's for a lady's hair, no ideas. And then this, it's missing the scribe, but it's a Rathbone, Chesterman, um, and they're quite collectible. Set square, um, there we go. I don't know if you can see that there, Rathbone Chesterman, um, so made in England. And that's really heavy duty cast. It's got a nick out of it there. Um, obviously, it needs a good, good, good clean up, but that'll make a good project. So, it's not, I didn't buy them all individually. I, I, just, I piled all these up and I said to the guy with all these files, I said to him, how much? So he said, one price and I agreed straight away and bought them. So how much did I pay for all these? Guess the price. Uh, put your answer in the description below um, and let me know how much you think I paid. It was all one price. He was very kind to me with his price. So I didn't argue. I just said, yeah, that's fine. It was worth it. It's like a midweek car boot. It was exciting. So yeah, well done to Steve Woodall for guessing the snap-on spanners and, and on top of the leaderboard. And how much did I pay for all these bits and bobs? Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't. All right, bye.